My name is Sen Jacob Tsao. I'm a cardiologist in York. Um, today's video is on the subject of superheroes. Now, <laughs> when I was young, these four were my superheroes. I wanted to be just like them, superhuman. And with my superhuman powers, I wanted to correct injustices and help the world. And as I got older, reality struck and I realized that I could never be like them. And now, as I venture into the autumn of my career and of my life, my role models have changed. And now, it's these four chaps. As we approach Christmas, I wish to thoroughly recommend this wonderful book by Charlie McKessie. Those who see me and who know me will understand why I love this book so much and why I'm recommending it to you, my extended family. It turns out that I never needed to be superhuman to make a difference. Being human is more than enough. To be compassionate and brave, enough to stand alongside those who are scared and lonely and those who endure injustice is more than enough. <clears throat> On this theme of being human, I wanted to share something I read, which was written by the wonderful poet David White in his remarkable book, Consolations. He uses it to describe friendship, but I think it can be used with equal grace to capture the essence of humanity. He says, the ultimate touchstone of friendship, and we could even use the word humanity here, is not improvement, neither of the other, nor of the self. The ultimate touchstone is witness. The privilege of having been seen by someone and the equal privilege of being granted the sight of the essence of another. To have walked with them and to have believed in them. And sometimes just to have accompanied them for however brief a span on a journey impossible to accomplish alone. Perhaps this is what medical students should be taught on their first day of study. This is the privilege of our duties. And this is the essence of what makes a person a superhero. 